Hey guys, Cyprian from Headlines here and today I'm going to be doing this Gareth Barry Milestone Squad Builder Challenge. Now this, this one's a really hard one because you need to spend a lot of money and some of the players you need to snipe if you want to get them for cheap or else you're going to have to pay a lot like me. I, as you can see, if you, watch, if you watched my video yesterday, I had about 140k, 138k, now I've got 82 so it cost me about 50 to 60k so it's a lot it is not cheap because look, as you, look, you will see now so this first squad build off I, I just i mean you need two two uh, man city players three aston villa players at least four england players and you need 100 chem so i've got I've got the two Man City players, I've got Caballero, bought him for 1.4k, luckily sniped him and Color had to pay 3k for, which is a bit too much for him This right mid for Aston Villa, 5.8k I mean, he's, he, this guy would be, he's 500 to 700 coins in a normal day Just because of the squad builder challenge, his price has gone a lot, so if you've got him in your club and you sell him, you're making a lot of money. Luckily got this one for 1.9k, which is actually cheap compared to the others. And then this bronze player for 6k. Absolutely insane. And then, you know, all the other England players, it's a bit, not, not as much, 500 coins, this one's 600, 600, 1.3. I kind of overpaid for him as well. But yeah, I mean, that's the team. You can copy it if you want. I mean, did overpay, spent about, what, 12k on two players that would be like not even 1k together on a normal day, but it's fine. Let's submit this squad. Alright, so that's one pack. Now we've got this one. Now, this one is probably the easiest out of them all. Now the Everton players, I might have overpaid for 2.7k for this one, not worth it. Got my right back 600 coins. Then again, Everton player 2.8k, not worth it. 1k for this guy, just put him in there because because of there's that you need you need four minimum Everton players. You need exactly they all need all need to be Premier League players. Then you need three different clubs, exactly three different clubs. So you know I decided to go for Swansea and Stoke as my other clubs because I just thought that they'd have the cheapest players and you know they do like Swansea players. Not gonna lie, not really that much. Everton again 2.1k for McCarthy. Then you got 500 coins, 850, 450. 800 1.3k that's actually not even that bad for an everton player so that's the team there i mean oh, you can you can copy that if you want this it meets all the the rating 77 so i think you could if you wanted to get a silver or a bronze instead of a, one more player and you'd probably still get 76 rating so that could save you money now obviously this is for 4.5k back i'm, I'm still losing money on this Overall, I think I'm probably going to lose money because the packs, I doubt I'm going to get anything anyway. And then this one. This one wasn't really as hard. It's just that I needed to play 10 games to, as you can see, 10 games for that extra chemistry. Just because I had some players not in the right position. And even if I did have everyone in the right position, they'd get 9 chem. So some players, would, some players wouldn't even get 10 chem. So it wouldn't have worked either way. <clears throat> so you needed to play the ten games, and I mean, unless you got like a strong link or a hyperlink or something somewhere in there, then it would have worked. But because I didn't, I will really have that many. I need to play ten games for chemistry, and there's like a quick method of doing that on. I I don't know where, but I saw it on YouTube somewhere where it's like a glitch where you go into a single player game. And as soon as you go into a game, don't pause it, nothing. Just press the PS button if you're on PlayStation. Press the home screen on Xbox. Close the application, come back on it. And you won't get a loss, but it will count as if you've played the game with your players. But the problem is that you will have a contract taken off. So contracts will need to be bought if the players only have seven contracts on them. But you can buy the bronze, the rare bronze contracts for about... 200 coins you can even bid for them 150 coins if you want 
and they're perfect because they just they, they just give free extra uh, matches on all gold players so that's that if they have seven at the beginning you've got the extra three that's ten and yeah you finished it that's that over there I think I might have overpaid for some of these players I mean yeah Van Ginkle 7.2 that's not really worth it I mean the rest relatively cheap not gonna lie I mean Romero as well shouldn't have paid that much for him but yeah submit this I mean I'm not gonna lie I'm not really gonna use this Gareth Barry anyway he's a bit he's a bit bad he's got 40 pace so he's his card's a bit bad unless you're going to use him defensively. I mean, even that, he's slow at tracking back. There he is, first owner. He's got medium high work rates. He's six foot. He's a good CDM to have for the BPO. He's a good CDM. So, obviously, I've already made about 6k just from the coins. I've got these two packs. <laughs> They're not really good. They're gold players packs. Let's just see what we get. All right, Herman, yeah, Herman is not not the best. I mean, just send them to club. Could use them for different squad border challenges. All right, and this pack, see what I'll get. Probably not going to be anyone good again. Bowerton, oh, okay, 75 raids. Well, that's great. I mean, if I sell all the players I've just gotten and the other players, I, mean, I doubt I'll even make, I'll make nowhere near my money back. I mean, overall you're going to lose money, but I mean, if you're lucky and you do get someone good in your packs, then it could pay off. Alright, so anyway guys, thanks for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below. Um, peace.